Hey guys, we're out in beautiful Leavenworth, Washington today working on my personal cabin project. My main focus today is going to be installing this HRV system. Uh, I decided to use an HRV system for a couple of reasons. The first reason being that I used a self-adhering air and water barrier and the barrier doesn't really allow for a lot of air, fresh air to come into the space uh, as well as moisture. The second reason is that I'm using the uh, mini split for heating and cooling. The mini split tends to pull moisture out of the air, so I want to balance the humidity as well as provide a constant source of fresh air. Because of my exposed uh, tongue and groove ceiling, I don't have any room for ducting with a standard HRV system. So I decided to use these Lunos systems that mount directly in the exterior wall. This is the whole system. You have the fan and you have the heat exchange core. The two units work in conjunction. One will be pulling air and the other one will be pushing. The system runs off of 12 volt, which is uh, low voltage, so they're very energy efficient and they're very easy to install. In order for the heat exchange to happen with this system, these units have to work in conjunction. One of them needs to be pulling air while the other is pushing air. This allows the heat exchange core to heat up and when it's pulling air, it's heating that air up as it's coming into the building. That back and forth is done through this little computer. So this gets set in a double gang box in the wall and there's low voltage wiring running from this to each of these units. First step for installing the Lunos HRV system is drilling the hole in the exterior wall cavity. I'm using a six inch hole saw bit. Before I install the roughen tube in the wall, I'm going to create a notch for the low voltage wiring. So now that I've got my notch in the roughen tube, I'm going to slide it into place. I want to make sure that the roughen tube has a little bit of slope to the exterior. So you want to use a level, make sure it falls to the outside. I've got about an eighth inch of fall. So if any condensation builds up in the tube, it'll evacuate to the exterior. The little notch is for this low voltage wire, which is actually going to control the unit. Then I am going to run a strap over this to secure it in place. Next thing I'm going to do is put in these temporary foam blocks. This just seals it up during roughing. And then I'm going to run a nice bead of polyurethane spray foam to get a good air seal on the interior. The last thing I'm going to do on this HRV install is apply a bead of liquid applied sealant around the flange here. This is going to provide a good air seal as well as keep any water or moisture out. As you guys can tell, the installation is pretty easy. This bead of sealant will also help hold this unit in place. Now all I have to do is repeat that same process on this other side. We're here in the mechanical laundry room. This is the last piece of the HRV installation. This is the control box. So we have uh, two low voltage lines running from each unit and a dedicated circuit. We'll put the switch in here with a little computer module and that will control the unit. Got the mechanical systems rough and complete. I'm feeling really good about the two systems working in conjunction. The mini split will do a great job of providing a constant stream of warm and cool in the summertime and the HRV will do a great job of providing fresh air and balancing the moisture between outside and inside.